Good morning, everybody. This is Yolanda from Bling on the Crafts, and I'm going to show you how to make some magnets. I'm going to use some um, faith-based or inspirational magnets. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm making them simple so that you guys will know the concept and, you know, know the basics. So what I do is I buy these sticker sheets. And as you can see, they have all kinds of inspirational and they, some of them even have some verses. Uh, so I have bought this sheet of stickers at Hobby Lobby or you can get them at Joann's or Michael's. And uh, I've got a little bit left over from the other sheet that I had. So I'm going to make um, some magnets on this uh, pretty hard, it's pretty hard cover weight stock. It's very, very stiff, very stiff. So um, that will hold the body of the magnet. And then I'll show you how it comes out. And then I've got some more stickers, some crosses that you can see here different kinds of crosses and uh, this sticker says faith and this one says hope and this one says rejoice and I just thought they were real pretty and they're good to embellish magnets with um, and during this Easter season which we just had Ash Wednesday um, here's a pretty cross um, signifying that and then we've got some other crosses here that are really pretty they have uh, some twine around the middle of it. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, they're they're really nice, very nice. So we're gonna use those two if they'll fit or if they'll look good. So um, I'm gonna start with a couple of these since <laughs> they're left over from the other sheet. So what I can do is, I think I'm gonna start with this one and it says rejoice in his mercy. And uh, what you do is you basically stick it on the the paper um, and depending on how you want to um, design it I'm going to give it a border so I'm going to give it a little bit of a border and I'll stick it right there on the corner because that's where I'm going to cut it rejoice in his mercy and you just glue it on there I mean just it's it's sticker so you just stick it on there and then, um, I don't think I'm going to use any embellishments from here on this one. But what you do is after you glue it or stick it on there, um, we're going to go over it with Mod Podge and then trim it. And then um, after it dries, we'll go back with a little bit of um, puff paint. It is dimensional fabric paint, but I call it puff paint. And this is gold metallic, and it's by Tulip. And you can get this also at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joann's. Um, and they run around $5 a bottle. And then uh, here's the Mod Podge, which you can get the small bottles or the large bottles. Also at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joann's. Um, so now that we've stuck that there, I'll go ahead and, and uh, pick out another one. And I like this one because it says rejoice in the Lord. And I can always put a cross with that. So let me unstick it here. And if it's um, giving you problems getting it off the paper, sometimes it does. Because um, they're not always perfect. So if it yeah, came off, okay, good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some space here because I think I'm going to do a cross on the left side and I want to give it a border and I don't want to waste too much paper <laughs> so I try to be a little more stingy with my paper and then I can see which cross because it's on a clear sheet you can kind of hold it next to uh, the sticker and decide which one to use these are all pretty. I'm going to go with one of the smaller ones. Um, I really like this one. And then I do like this one too. But that, that looks a little too small. So I think I'm going to go with this one. It um, looks like it's a copper color with silver. And then it's got the gold star in the middle. And then the uh, little rhinestone in the very center. So I'm going to stick this on. 
just to see how it looks, just temporarily, temporarily, and I think it's going to look good, but I'm not going to stick it on there right now because I'm going to Mod Podge, and I'm not going to Mod Podge this. I'm going to hot glue it, so um, you have to, you know, decide what you're going to Mod Podge and what you're not. So I'm going to put this over here on the corner. I've got a little sticker, so I'm not using that one. And then um, this one says, wait for the Lord. I'm going to go ahead and use that one. And I'm going to do the same like this one, but it's going to be opposite. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a border and stick it right there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this with my with my cutter here so that they're straight and everything but I won't do it till after I Mod Podge and it dries so this one can also have a cross or it can have a word faith uh, rejoice or hope but I think I'm gonna go with a cross and my second favorite was this one here this one here and it's the same size as the sticker and it really uh, embellishes it pretty nice so I'm going to use that one too so I'm just going to make these three right now so that you can understand how to do the magnets so once they're stuck on there what you do is you take your Mod Podge and a brush let's see I think I'm going to use my foam I like using my foam brush because it really it spreads it really nice and um, what we're going to do is go ahead and clean the, I need to clean my spout. Sometimes the glue collects here, but you can just, just take it off. It's dry and it, it'll come right off. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put a little Mod Podge on my sponge like so. Just a little bit and then I'll just start covering it just covering it and a little more here and you want to do the whole paper the whole um, magnet because you want it to look very um, very smooth So you just do the whole thing. Oops, a little bit piece of trash there. And it dries real quick, so you have to be fast. And you just go over it like this and see as it gets clear, it dries. I don't think I've got enough on here. And it'll change the color of the paper just a little bit. And that's all right. Okay. So you only use real little. And um, I usually uh, use a paper towel underneath it. I forgot because I, sometimes I'm not thinking. I usually use, just do it like that. So anyway, this is going to dry really quick. You'd be shocked at how fast this dries. And as soon as you see it clear, it's good to go. And as you can see, it's, it's drying really, really quick. And what we'll do is after it dries, we'll go ahead and hot glue the crosses on there. And, and then after we glue the crosses, we'll do the puff paint. And after it's all done, then you uh, glue your magnet on the back, which is real easy. So um, I do want to show you the magnets that I use. Now, these have been taken out of the package, but these are the magnets that I use. They're real sturdy and they're round. They're about three quarter inch round, but they come in a package. I wish I had the package, but I threw it away. And it comes in um, um, sections of 10, and there's four. 
in the package. There's 40 magnets in a package. It probably runs around eight or nine dollars a package. And you can get that at Hobby Lobby. I have not been able to find these at Joann's. I don't know about Michael's because I have not ever bought magnets at Michael's. But I know at Hobby Lobby, um, they are about eight or nine dollars. And I always use my 40% coupon <laughs> and get them a, at a discount. But these are real strong, real strong. Look at this. I mean, I'm, I'm an inch and a half away and look. <laughs> So they're real strong, and I like them, and these are the ones that I usually use uh, for my magnets. And um, anyway, so uh, see, this is, um, this is, look, it's dry. It's dry already, look. It is totally dry. See how fast? It only took like a minute and a half or a minute. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hot glue my crosses. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this one onto this one that we light. And we're going to just center it. Even though it's got a sticky back, you want to be sure it's not going to come off. So you're going to hot glue it very carefully. Just put a little bit of glue on the back like that. And then you take it. And you just center it on the paper. Press it a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to use this one. And we're going to put some hot glue on that one. A little bit down the center and across. And I use, as far as hot glue goes, I use the Gorilla Glue Sticks. The only place I've been able to find them is Joann's. Hobby Lobby doesn't carry them. But I'll tell you what, that Gorilla Glue, and I'll show you the package. I think I still have it. Yes. Um, these are fantastic. They, this is Gorilla Glue. And they come in sticks, uh, long sticks or short sticks. Um, I found this at Joann's. And, um, I mean, they are, they will, they will glue anything. And there's 25 pieces in here. And I think it was about $8, I want to say. 7 or $8 for uh, 25 sticks. And it lasts me a while. And, um, anyway, that's, um, that's what I use for my hot glue. So I don't use anything else. And it's for all temperature. It's all temperature uh, glue guns. And it says five times more durable. I don't know if it's five times because I've never tested it. But, <laughs> but I know this is the only glue I use. So I'm recommending that highly to all you crafters. And um, you will not be disappointed. So here we are with our three stickers. And I'm going to put them in my... Put them in my paper cutter here and I'm going to cut them down to size. Ooh, let's see what size I need here. I'm going to do the vertical one first and I'm going to give it a border because we want a little border. So here we go. Alrighty, so that's scrap. Now this is the width of the magnets. So we're going to go back and we're going to cut each individual magnet. I hope I stuck them on there straight. I'm just now noticing that, oh my goodness, I want them to be straight. <laughs> okay, so we'll cut this one first. We want to give it a little border. Want it to be straight. Okay, and there's our first magnet. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Okay, and here's our second one. And really, it's not going to hurt the crosses to put them in this uh, paper cutter because they're already glued on. And I just want to get the border right. 
I'm gonna get it straight. I'm gonna do it this way. Oops, didn't mean to cut. Oh, I don't think I pressed on it. Okay. There we go. Well, it didn't. Oh, I know because I'm not pressing down hard enough. Okay, I gotta press down hard. Okay, all right, here we go. So there's that one, this one, and then there's this one that I need to trim. Well, what? Okay. Yeah, I went over it three times, so it's got a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of trash. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to cut this one. Try to get it real even. Even Steven with the border on it. Okay, I think that's it. Alrighty. And there's the next one. See how easy that was? Very easy. Easy peasy, as I say. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to um, do the puff paint. So that takes a while to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it on there um, just to show you how to do it. And then all you have to do, well, I'll go ahead and glue it. You just take a magnet and you can go ahead and do it before the puff paint or after. It does not matter. But what I do is I just stick it in the middle and I do a good, you know, bean size glue on there and I just stick it on there like that and it's very hot very hot and you can do all of them if you want to just stick it in the middle with a good little glob of glue and take your little magnet off the stack if it'll want to come out or come off and you just stick it in the back like that. Very easy. And here's the third one. All right. So they're all glued on. And now we can go back and I'll show you how to puff paint. You shake it up real good. Make sure it's got a good flow to it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. You want to test your paint, the nozzle, how much is coming out and everything. So you take some out to be sure it's working well. But what you do is you just, I, this is the way I do it. So it's up to you how you want to do it. But what I do is I'll go ahead and go around the sticker with little dots and I just do dot for dot. You just control the flow and you just add the puff paint onto the edge and you just control the amount of paint coming out. So you can see that you can go that one didn't have very much. So you just go on the edge and you just go all the way around and get the corner and you just add the puff paint one dot at a time. And this will seal the edge too to the to the base. So I just want to make sure the sticker doesn't come off. So I put puff paint to secure it. And that's how you do it. So I'll do the rest of this. And what I'll do is I'll go back and do the edge of the magnet, the edge of the whole card, the same technique. And I'll just put the dots all the way around the edge. And what happens is this puff paint dries and it, st it stiffens and it's hard, very hard. And it feels great. I mean, you know, you pick it up and you can actually 
feel the dots, you know, and um, it's so cool. I just think it's cool. And it's a, it's a technique, you know, it's a, a technique I think people appreciate, you know, because it adds some, it adds something to it. So this is more of a simple um, puff paint magnet. You know, it's just a simple embellished uh, magnet. But I could, if I wanted to, I could put lace around it or ribbon, some kind of a sparkly ribbon. I could dress it up any way I wanted to with hot glue. But now that it's been protected with Mod Podge, glued down with my Gorilla Glue, trimmed with the puff paint. There's nothing going to happen to this magnet. <laughs> it's pretty sturdy. So this is what I do, and I hope that you have appreciated um, this little project, and I wish you luck, and I hope that you can make some too. And if you need any other information, just private message me. And um, Yolanda Martinez on Facebook, or you can go to Bling on the Crafts, and uh, I've got notes in there too. So here you go, how to make a magnet, and there's the back. So I will finish these, and thank you for watching. Talk at you later. Bye-bye.